At this stage, the evidence is really very clear for anyone to see. We are losing biodiversity at an unprecedented rate. The oceans are changing rapidly. They're becoming warmer, more acidic, less oxygenated, and how life is responding to these changes is a big unknown. We only know a fraction of the species that inhabit the Earth. This means that thousands of them could be going extinct without us even noticing them. Scientists and nature conservationists across Europe have witnessed for decades now how large-scale environmental change is leading to massive biodiversity loss, including species like pollinators, wild crops or fisheries that are crucial for our society. Digital technologies and new forms of data derived from DNA have greatly improved the quantity and quality of research data. But despite these developments, our understanding of the natural world remains limited and by extension our capabilities to tackle the threats that it faces. There are thousands and thousands of species that are still waiting to be discovered but just providing the list of the species is something like providing the list of the characters of a comedy without a plot. We also need to understand in depth their relationships, how they function and how they react, if they react, to the human pressure. The key is how to increase the scale and speed of research into geo and biodiversity. If we continue the way we have been, it will be decades before we have the knowledge we need to tackle urgent problems like biodiversity decline. So we need a new approach, a new system that will bring together data, AI and automation and people to get the best out of all of them. The Distributed System of Scientific Collections, DISCO, represents one of Europe's best chances to bring about such a new system for natural science collections. Launched in 2018, DISCO is leading the way to bring together hundreds of natural science collections in a digital infrastructure that will function as a unified digital collection for all of Europe, the biggest in the world. For this purpose, DISCO introduces a new business model where collections share the same protocols, policies and practices across institutions and countries. The model is supported by a technical infrastructure that ensures that all specimen data from all natural science collections in Europe is interconnected. Today, our collections operate in relative isolation in botanical gardens like this one, natural history museums, universities and so on. DISCO is about bringing these individual collections together in a united European network that works as one in scientific, organisational and technical terms. The cornerstone of DISCO's technical architecture is the concept of Digital Extended Specimen, or DES. The DES acts as the digital representation of a physical specimen, something similar to a digital twin, with the potential to boost biodiversity research and computer simulation experiments on how species and the environment behave under pressure. The digital extended specimen is a package of data, a single unit, but one that is able to link to all the available data about the physical specimen that it represents, even if it comes from different sources in multiple locations. That data is readable and actionable by humans, but crucially, also by artificial intelligence systems. Bringing artificial intelligence into the equation will be one of the key contributions of DISCO. It will significantly increase the speed and scale at which we do biodiversity research. Imagine only in Europe, the Natural History Museums host over 2 million specimens. That's way too much to be handled by researchers alone. If we're able to get human and artificial intelligence to work together in a harmonized way, we will be able to connect a huge volume of scientific data in a reliable way. Uh, it's a lot of information that otherwise would remain scattered across institutions, on the shelves of collections, and otherwise unused. Ultimately, DISCO aims to bring about a fundamental shift in how biodiversity research is done in Europe. By establishing a model of natural science collection based on common practices and interconnected data across countries, DISCO will allow biodiversity research to break the physical boundaries of institutions. The specimens that were once curated by individual taxonomists in individual collections will now connect to their digital surrogates, binding all the available data across institutions and countries. As a result, the knowledge that is needed to discover, monitor and protect biodiversity will be harvested globally by researchers and experts working in collaboration within one scientific area or across domains. 
Only research at that scale can contribute to guarantee a future for our natural world.